One race I went to, it was 29 below. I don't really get cold. It's a great advantage, I think. We calculated I was going 22 miles an hour with the dog team, and it, the wind is so much that you have to crouch down behind the sled to like to decrease the wind resistance. It's just like so fast, and you can look down, and the ground is just like rushing, you know, and it's just it's really cool. Good girls, let's go. I don't think anybody can really say what's what's in them, but. Whatever, whichever dog was running good and fast ended up in the Alaskan Husky. So the idea in the beginning was just to be on the sprint circuit with a handful of dogs and call it good, but it didn't work out that way. <laughs> we ended up with way too many puppies in. All these puppies were actually turning out to be really good sled dogs. Like a lot of people's vision of sled dogs is like these wild mutts, you know, that they're, they're, um, they can't be petted, <laughs> you know, or they don't like to. And like we've never had one of our dogs bite us or get aggressive towards us ever. Um, they're just, they, they, I guess they treat us like, their own kind. When they're running hard, they can burn up to 10,000 calories a day. And it's, uh, it's incredible. So you can just imagine how much food they need. Mm -hmm. Frozen beef. Perfect stuff. She'll take the time at, you know, at the beginning of the race to give every single one a hug. It's all about the dogs, because, I mean, if you're not on the back of the sled, there's like an 80% chance that they're going to finish anyway, you know? It can be very scary. I had a terrible wreck. <laughs> I crashed, and um, my team took the wrong trail, and every time I tried to turn them around and fix it, they got in a tangle or something went wrong. I had to go all the way back to the start after running 10 miles and instead of scratching like many people are just like you know you you shouldn't have to do this just go home and I was like I can't go home everyone's gonna be like why are you home early I'm like I'm not gonna say I quit Let's go. the very first race that I won happened early on when I was 11 years old the first thing I did was questioning the time because I didn't think she could win I don't think she can compete with these guys, you know. And I ran um, four miles in 11 minutes and 45 seconds. And I looked at that time and I was so excited. And so I went back to my dad and he looked and he said, that can't be true. You can't win with all these guys. But obviously she could. And that was an eye opener for us. And then when, he, when they said it was true, and then we were both like super ecstatic. I think she wants to achieve, you know, some some high goals. <laughs>